stop playing those boring, brain-dead meta coverages. Learn to play a defense where you have to think and adjust to what your opponent is doing. But once you really learn and understand this defense, you will be able to lock down offenses and they will have no clue what to go to next. Now, this is going to be an intro to match coverage, then a complete breakdown of cover four palm, showing you how you can turn it into the best pass defense in Madden 23. Now, when someone says match coverage, what they mean is a defense that has defenders playing zone, but they are reading receivers and they will either man up players and lock them down, or they can become free to double team and bracket players down the field, or other players will play zone, look for work, and help anyone who comes into their area. Match coverage-based defenses are really taking over both college and the NFL and offer the blueprint on how to play defense against modern passing offensive schemes. So I think adopting them and using them in Madden is the best way to play defense because match is an aggressive defensive scheme that is designed to give us a numbers advantage in our pass defense and it excels at scheming double teams into our defense to force the offense into making a ton of mistakes where we can go the other way with the football. Match coverage is amazing in Madden because it allows us to take away really dangerous deep route combos without having to play zone drops. We can take away those deep corner routes down the field either by matching them where our defender will turn and run with it, but depending on formation we can also get double teams where we can totally wipe these routes out. We also will get a ton of double teams on crossers robbing these routes and this will allow us to shut down two of the most popular routes in all of Madden. Then playing with this match scheme is built for players who love the X's and O's side of Madden. You need to be very aware of your individual assignment on each play and what match defense you should use against every offense you come up against. Now our match coverage game plan is all inspired by the GOAT Nick Saban and his legendary run at Alabama where he led the tie to become the greatest dynasty in college football history. Over the past seven to eight seasons, the Tide have evolved into a four down lineman based defense with a nickelback on the field that Saban refers to as his star position. Then the Tide run an insanely advanced match coverage scheme that Saban refers to as his cover seven defenses. This gives him an insane amount of checks and options to answer whatever the offense is trying to do offensively. Today we are breaking down cover four palms, but we also have a ton of other match breakdowns on the way. And over these videos, I will be showing you exactly when I think you should use each one of these match defenses. And I will be doing special breakdowns of each one of the meta offenses and give you individual match schemes built to take them away. Now I'm going to leave a link down in the description for this whole Saban defensive scheme and you can watch everything else that is out for this defensive scheme so far. Now we are going to be breaking down palms versus three by one sets and this is my go-to defense whenever I play these offenses. Then we are going to touch on two by two sets but I do prefer quarters against those looks and I actually broke that down in my last video and I will leave a link to it down in the description below. Now this will be a part of Saban's cover seven family of coverages and this is what he would call stubby. This is one of his go-to coverages against trips looks. The only difference is Saban is going to press his corner on the trip side where we are going to have ours in off coverage. So first when I say three by one I mean three receivers to the one side of the field and one to the other side. But this is going to be a breakdown for when the receiver is split out as a receiver not an inline blocker like trips tight end. That will be its own specific video. When talking about match coverage you will hear me say read one to two to three or two to one or anything along those lines. What that refers to is one will be the outside receiver on that side of the ball then the next player in will be two and then if there's trips on that side that player will be number three. Now first let's look at the two outside corners. Both of our outside cornerbacks on the solo and trip side they are going to be playing what we call meg. This means a man everywhere he goes. So it doesn't matter what route these players run both our corners are just going to lock them up in man coverage and go with them all over the field. Next we have our quarter flat on the trip side. He is going to read three to two. Now if three goes right to the flat then he will just take him right away. So any route quick to the flat it could be an out route a whip or a flat route itself. Then if number three gets vertical up the field five plus yards or if he goes on a drag or a slant over the middle of the field then our quarter flat is going to look to number two. Now he will just basically man number two up wherever he goes. So anything quick to the flats he will take him or if he runs any vertical route up the field it could be a seam corner route or a crosser he will go with him everywhere across the field. Next we have our trip side safety now he will read three to two so if number three gets vertical which means seven plus yards then he will take him on any route so it could be a post going over the middle a corner cutting out to the outside or a seam going directly upfield but if number three stays shallow so 
it could be a hitch, slant, or out route. The safety will look to number two, and he goes vertical up the field, so five plus yards. He will convert to man coverage and take number two anywhere he goes. Then if at the snap, both number three and number two stay shallow, then the safety will look to number one. And if this player runs vertical into the middle of the field on a deep post or a dig, then he will bracket him with the cornerback, and this will just be double coverage on this receiver. Next, we have the safety on the solo side. Now, he is going to be very free to help wherever is needed on this play. So first, he will look to number one on the solo side, and if he runs anything vertical, then he will bracket number one with the cornerback. Then if number one doesn't go vertical and in, if he just goes straight up the field or shallow and in, then he will look to the trip side and just help pick up any crosser or anything coming from that side of the field. Then we have the quarter flat on the solo side. Now, he is going to be playing nag on the running back, so he's just going to take him anywhere he goes, whether it's vertical up the field or even if he runs to the trip side, he will just follow him and take him. Then if the running back stays into block, then the quarter flat is just going to play flats and just help anything going there. Then lastly, we have the three receiver hook. Now first, he will look to number three, and if he gets vertical on a crosser, he's going to wall this player off and pass him to the safety. This is going to help take away any quick throws. Then after he passes him off, he's just going to drop back into the hook zone over the middle of the field. The other thing the three rack will look for is if number three runs a drag or a slant over the middle right away, then the three rack is going to close in on this route, convert to man coverage, and take it across the field. Now really quickly, let's look at palms versus two by two. But remember, this isn't my preferred way to play. I really like quarters versus these looks, but it is good for you guys to know how palms works versus two by two. Now, if you do want to check out the quarters breakdown I did against two by two, I will leave a link to it down in the description below. So when we say two by two, that just means two receivers on each side of the ball. Now, overall versus two by two, palms is going to play very similar to quarters. If there is an inline tight end on one side of the two by two, then that side of the ball will just play normal quarters the exact same way. It is only going to change on the side where there is an outside receiver than a slot receiver. So here the cornerback is going to read two to one. Now if two goes right out to the flat, then the cornerback is actually going to jump this route and he's going to pass number one off to the safety. And now the safety will just lock onto him and take him deep. And the reason you would ever call this is if they're really trying to take number two to the flats over and over, then you can call palms and the cornerback is going to jump this route underneath. Then the other read for the corner is if he sees number two go vertical right away, then he will look to one. And if he gets vertical also, then he is just going to match him deep. But if at the snap two goes vertical and then one stays shallow on a drag or a slant, then the cornerback is going to help double team the number two receiver with the safety deep. Now, if you want to unlock even more for this Saban defense, you need to check out my website scheme kings. Up today, I have two specifically designed match defenses with the first being how to use cover four palms to lock up empty formations and it is absolutely locked down and you have no issues with empty anymore. I promise you that. Then I show you how we can use cover four quarters to shut down the run game and lock up the pass game and in all the different I form offenses you will face and this is super, super solid as well. Also on this site, I have my ultimate mobile QB offense where I break down some of the best running QBs ever and how you can use them in Madden 23. Now, if you want to check out Scheme Kings, I will leave a link down in the description below. And because I think this defense is going to help so many people, I want as many of you as possible to be able to use the full scheme. So use code SAVEN at checkout for 50% off your first month. Now, before we even ever run Palms, we want to look at our coaching adjustments and you need to turn your match coverage on. If you don't and you call Palms, it is going to play normal drop zone and it won't have any matching principles. Then also, I do like to turn base align on. This is going to help disguise our defenses, but you definitely don't have to. Now for this Saban match defense, we are running at a big nickel over G in the Raiders playbook, but all of these match rules are the same in any formation or any defensive scheme that you are in. Then the other thing, when you are in big nickel over G, you have to make sure you turn your package into slot CB. This is going to make sure you can put all the adjustments you need on the field. Now I want to break down the adjustments I like to make for palms to make this play even better and really limit all the different ways that people are going to try to attack you. First, I almost always change my quarter flat on the solo side into a hard flat. I really don't think it is necessary to have this quarter flat follow the running back to the opposite side of the field. So I'd rather him go right to the flat. And if the RB does go to the other side, then we can just pass him off to the three rack and to the wide side flat defender. And if you put him right in a hard flat, he's just going to play those flats so much better and not give them anything easy to that side of the field. Now, the one thing we do have to be careful of is if they run a running back wheel out of the backfield, then the 
the hard flat is not going to match him and he will get wide open down the field. So if they do start running wheels on you, then you can just leave your quarter flat out there and let him match and take that away. Then the other adjustment I do basically every time is I take the trip side corner and put him in a deep half. Now, the reason I like to do this is if the wide receiver runs a slant or a drag, then I don't need my cornerback chasing him. I can pass him off to the other coverage players underneath. And if he runs anything vertical up the field, then he'll be running to right where our deep path is anyway and we will be right there with him. So now if the receiver runs shallow, we have an extra deep defender playing over the top and really helping take away some of the deep passing concepts that can get open down the field. The only thing you have to be wary of here is if number one on the trip side runs up deep post towards the other side of the field, but really this takes a super long time to develop. And if the trip side safety is free, he is gonna take that deep post. And if not, we are gonna be using the backside safety and we can read that and come over and make a play. Now now let's touch on the backside safety. He will be our user and I like to manually bring him down in between the linebackers and sit him at about eight yards. We really have almost complete freedom when we have our D set up this way where we can just really help anywhere on the field. Whether it's crossers from the trip side, we can rob those and make a ton of plays on the football. Or if they're trying to hit that solo side receiver, we can go to that side of the field and, and double team that player and make a ton of plays over there as well. And how we have it set up right now is going to be great at taking vertical routes away. If they run four verts, we will match them across the board with our cornerback deep halved over the top helping and they will have absolutely nothing there. Or if they run a flood concept to the trip side, we will mirror that across the board and take it away and give them nothing easy. But I do find when we have it set up this way, we can be susceptible in the flats. So if they run everyone vertical, our quarter flat will leave that side of the field. And then if they bring the running back from the other side, then there can be a ton of room underneath. And this is a tough play for the three rec. Or if they're running a whip from number two, he will actually get really easy separation underneath on the quarter flat on the trip side, and they can pick up a ton of yardage. So what I really like to do here is I will take this quarter flat player on the trip side and put him on a hard flat. Now you don't have to do this, but this is going to make him go right to the flats and it is going to do a much better job of taking all those quick and easy plays away underneath. And with this setup, you might assume something like a flood concept might get open. Well, this is what I love about this setup. It doesn't matter if it's number two, who runs the corner route and then number three is to the flat, the trip side safety will still match that corner route and take it away. Or if it's the opposite, where now number three is the one running the corner route and number two is going to the flats, we are still going to lock it down. Our safety will match three and our hard flat will take away the flat. Now, if they run something like four verts on this play, we are still going to be in really good shape. The safety will pick up number three on the crosser. Then as the user, we have to be aware. And now our job is going to be taking number two coming in vertical behind him. And I bait a ton of of quarterbacks on this throw and get a ton of user picks. So I do use this hard flat a ton. And for the most part, you will lock everything down and you're going to do a much better job of securing the flats and really just giving them nothing easy. But there are some route combos that can give you trouble. First is wheels from the number two receiver. Now, if they run a wheel from this player, the hard flat will not turn and run with him. And now he will be getting open down the field. He can throw it in front of that deep half and it can be a pretty big play down the field. But if they do run that, it is a super easy fix. All you have to do is leave your quarter flat out there. He will match the wheel up the field and absolutely lock it down and they will have no shot to complete it. The other route combo that can give you trouble is a post from number three, a corner route from number two, and a clear out from number one. Now the safety will take the post and the cornerback will get run off by number one and number two will get wide open along the sideline on the corner. Route. But once again, if they do run this and you get beat on it one time, then you can leave your quarter flat out there and you will match his corner route up the field and take it away. Now finding the right mixed between hard flatting this player and leaving him on his quarter flat is what is going to make this defense so tough to beat. Overall, I love this palm stubby defense. I think it is absolutely incredible. And when I see someone in trips, I actually get excited. The amount of plays you will make with your user is insane. Now, this is going to be absolutely incredible to lock up those high flying trips, offense, passing attacks. But that is really only half the battle. To really understand match coverage, you have to get a full grasp on the personnel you need and the history behind the save and match defense to use it to its full potential. So to learn all of that, you have to check out this video right here.